talking about an, an uplifting story, as it always should be, and yeah. unfortunately we know that it's not for an awful lot of people, but, but tell us what your story is, Jimmy. So I was so lucky coming out. Um, I never really had any doubts whatsoever who I was. Mm. I think my earliest memory of knowing I was gay, I think I was eight, mm. I equated to where we lived in a house. So I remember having two action men, they slept in bed together, that was their family unit, and we moved out of that house when I was nine. So yeah. it was really young for me. And, I was so blessed that all my family and friends have just been the most supportive people. And it was never really a coming out. It was just, it just was. Mm -hmm. It was just who I was. My, yeah. my relationship status never really came up. Who I loved never came up. And I think that's such an important message that we, we must tell. Because like you said, there are so many coming out stories that are sad and it is a really tough thing to do. But if we all the time speak about those ones, we may scare younger people yeah, that they can't exactly come out. And it, yeah. I don't believe anybody should put up with uh, not being accepted for who they are. So I believe that I was very lucky. My story should be, that's what you should aspire to have in your life. I was life. going to say, I mean, would, would progress, real progress be that we don't even talk about this yeah. term coming out? Mm. Absolutely. You know, it just, that's just gone. I think know. labels are important for, but I believe labels are important for me. I do define as a gay man and I'm very proud of that. And I, I like having that label to, associate with and to fight for rights for that. But I think what it should... What do you think about coming out, then? Is I, th that... I think it's it's down to personal journey. Like, I... It, it wasn't important for me, but some people need that. Some people okay. do need that, mm -hmm. I think, to define them or start a new life. But I think labels are fine if you endorse them and they're yeah. for you. I don't think yeah. it should be for the rest of the world to pass judgment on. You need to come out, you're gay, because yeah. there's this whole thing with straight pride at the minute. And I believe, absolutely, straight people should be proud of what they are, and it is mm. still a... Uh, it is still part of our upbringing and people need to be educated about that. That is a family as well. And we yeah. have to make sure that everyone is across the board, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but like told about. And mm. But straight people don't have to come out like gay people do. And... But don't, don't you, in your business though, the music business, as a pop star, yeah. I mean, did you have pressure not to come out? No, or I did was you have massively to supported. Uh, X Factor yeah. were really, really supportive of me coming out. But, I've been out, out publicly since I was 14, so when I was on the show, I'd been out for eight years. I was in a four-year relationship with the guy with Ollie, my partner, when I was on X Factor, so to hide it would have been stupid. It would have mm. come out and I would have looked like a fraud. I think I was week five when I came out because I wanted to not be the gay one in the boy band. I wanted yeah. to be the singer. I mean, mm. I, I, once I felt like I'd achieved that, then I came out. Did you two talk find. about it? Yeah, when he, when he started finding out who he was, we did speak about it, and I really felt for him because, obviously, I was already out. He was the... Harry Styles of the band, I mean, the young mm. heartthrob of the band, and that's a lot of pressure for someone yeah, his age fair. to come through. And I was mm. very proud and secure in who I was when I came out publicly, but, yeah, I think we have a long way to come still, to, like you said, so it isn't a thing to talk about, but mm. sharing positive messages is how I think we get there, and having parents, education is... We, our parents are the way that kids now are going to be taught how to deal with their children when their kids are of coming out age. Mm. So as long as our children now are educated that being gay is OK, Hopefully the next generation, like you said, won't have to do yeah, this. These mm. conversations yeah, these conversations won't happen. But as we say, you have had a huge yeah. support from your family. And your wonderful dad, David, is here yeah. today. David, come and join us. He's you're, so nervous. You're, is he? <laughs> oh, 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 we can't drink. <laughs> Welcome, oh, David. Oh, Don't be nervous. <laughs> Why on earth could you be nervous with us around here? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. eh? <laughs> it's such a great story because you're, you've a very honest, loving relationship, and basically, David, you just don't care as long as he's a happy, healthy son. Well, no, and I it's never have. I, I never have done. I mean, even when we, or when I believed, you know, Jamie was gay at probably what, thirteen, I guess we had yeah. an inkling. Um, it was, it was just matter of fact. Yeah. It, it was, it wasn't um, a case of oh, Jesus, he's gay or whatever. I mean, and people have said to me, said, well, you know. Don't you worry about it? I said, well, I don't worry about Aaron, who is heterosexual. Why should I worry about James? Yeah, yeah. it's your brother, he's, he's yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was something that Prince William said last week, wasn't he? That he would accept it, but he would be worried mm. about, about the prejudice or about the... Yeah. Do, do you think that that was a kind of... Do you think that was a little ill advised to say that? No, or? I don't, because his, yeah. children, his son is going to be the future King of England and his yeah. children from birth are in the public eye. Mm. And I mean, the monarchy get enough stick as it is. So mm. I think anybody that mm. is in the public eye, of course. I mean, I would worry about my children regardless if they were straight, gay, mm. trans, anything, because it's, it is still a tough world out there. But mm. I think the biggest comment is that he said he wouldn't care. And, if our That's future king thing. doesn't care, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to be the future of our monarchy, and we do love them or hate them, we look at our monarchy for how mm. we as a country are led. Mm. And if him mm. saying that is important, and hopefully, I think mm. also with how much 
problems they had as children and with what happened with their mum and stuff, we do tend to love Harry and Will and, and want to do the best for them. So him saying that, I think if one were to come out gay, we wouldn't give them stick because we would feel yeah. that it's he's important. He's flagged that yeah. up, yes. hasn't he? Yeah. And he did actually say, because of the kind of peculiar yeah. circumstances of, of their family. So did you two never have a conversation about no. it? And no. no. Never at all? Ever. No, never. So when you say, oh, you're out tonight, Jamie, who are you with? Oh, no, just... no, it just, I mean, it, it's also, I mean... I mean, you did, I think we did clock when I was on a date, just like on a first date with someone, didn't go anywhere, when I was probably about 17, and we walked into an Indian restaurant and my dad was there with my stepmom. So it was uh, like, I can't get around this one. So. <laughs> but that was the first time. And then it, I think that's when I turned into a, an adult gay man, where we kind of had a little twinkle in our eye and we were like, yeah, this is who we are. But, yeah, it never... I, I never mean, even as a anybody. straight person, there's that... I mean, my, my daughter gets very awkward if she's meeting somebody. You, you don't want to immediately share that Absolutely with your parents, not. do you? You want to keep it no, secret. No, yeah, that was, yeah, that was interesting. But no-one, even with my mum, my mum... I think my biggest, I think my biggest worry for my parents probably was just that I was being safe. And I think also we're talking about 15 years ago, so early 2000s. It's a different, it was a different time still. But I was sneaking out at 15 to gay bars, and I was sneaking out and telling my parents I was elsewhere. And when my mum found out, she said, "I don't care where you're going. I just want to know where you're going. Mm. I want to know that you're safe. And mm. I would be the same if you were a young girl or a boy going mm. to a straight mm. club. Mm. I don't want you to get preyed on by older people. Mm. I don't want you to get into drugs and drink and, and me not know where you are and have to have it as this seedy underground world issue." shouldn't be that, it should be really accepted. And wow. I think that's when, when my mum wow. said that and dad said that. I was like, I don't need to hide this. And were you both, were you both mum, dad, were you both like that at the same time? Or did you, were you having conversations maybe that he didn't know about? Uh, no, because at the time we, we, were, we were separated. Uh -huh. um, so we, we, we didn't have that, that, I suppose, husband and wife right. discussions, yeah. you know, yeah. every time. There was times that we had discussions over the phone and everything else, but it, it, it wasn't, like I said, it, it wasn't a case of, Oh, do you know our son's gay? It, it was okay, fine. Yeah. You know, we'll deal with it and everything else. You deal with the emotions and all the rest of it. And like Jamie said, you just want him to be safe. And, mm. and as long as he was safe, and, and obviously he has been safe, it's, it's unconditional love. That's, that's all it is. You, you just, yeah. just, you just, we love you. No, no. It's so good. <laughs> I'm so glad. You, you must have seen a real change in your lifetime, though. I mean, when you yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, when I was young, when I was eleven or twelve, I mean, we had a, we had at that time it was it was a camp guy. It wasn't a gay guy because we we I didn't have the exposure at eleven and twelve as potentially kids of that age do yeah. today. Yeah. So we we were and and he was I can vividly remember he was victimised and and on one specific occasion abused, and unfortunately I just let it happen, and I'm and I don't think I would do that now. I certainly wouldn't do it now. Mm. Um, so if I, you know, if I knew then what I know now, then I would have stuck up for him. Mm. Um, not this because, at school? Not be sorry. Was this at school? Yeah, this yeah. was at high school. Yeah. And this was this was in the early seventies. Yeah. And and you, we didn't, like I said, kids of eleven, twelve have the exposure yeah. more so than yeah. we did in the yeah. early seventies. Yeah, they've got language. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it was it was different back then. Yeah. yeah. It was. Well, mm. things are changing. I would say it's, it's a big celebration of pride this yeah. weekend yeah. in London as well. And. Mm. and Things have moved on greatly, as so you say, much. just since since you were a boy. And hopefully, here we are in 30 years' time, yeah, not really. having this conversation. Yeah. I think where we are 50 years ago with Stonewall, where we're going to be in 50 years, and that's yeah. what's exciting and why it's important for my generation to keep talking about people like Ian McKellen and these people mm. that fought for how for me to be who I am now, yeah. I still can't now invest on my laurels. I now still have to fight for younger people to have the life that they deserve when they're... Mm. When they're my age. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. So a very honest discussion yeah. both of you. Yeah. Honestly, we very nice. much appreciate it. David. You're good. We weren't that scary after all. No, were you we? weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Thank you so much, David and Jamie. Thank you. Thank you.